Justin is so detailed about the ball, like under, understanding the the real understanding the real moments of having the ball, the, the premium of the ball, you know, how much the ball is worth, you know. Offense, you know, they want to protect the ball. Defense, we want to take it away. So that means be valuable. Baltimore's had an elite run game this year. How do you stop them, Jermaine? I mean, everybody does um, do their job, you know, do your 111. This is being, it started with our D line, you know, our D line setting the tone, and then linebackers fitting the gaps and the safeties fit, fitting the alleys and stuff, running the alleys. We just got to um, do our job, you know, we got to put out the fire early. Knowing how limited possessions are in this game, how critical are our turnovers even more so at a premium, knowing how short these games are against them? I mean, it's very critical, you know, you, it, whoever protect the ball, this, this game will win, you know. Uh, Lamar is a dynamic quarterback, and then you know you got we got a explosive offense, so we just got to protect the ball. Does it feel like a, a heightened game that it feels you know Callahan said it's almost like a playoff game in November? Do y'all have that kind of vibe going into this that it's kind of maybe it takes on a little added significance? Yeah, it's always been this um, way when you play against them. You know, any divisional game is a. Uh, like a playoff game, you know. We've been here before. We know how how much what's at state. You know what what we got to do. We got to win. What's the biggest challenge facing Lamar Jackson? Obviously, he faced the play. I mean, he can do it all now. You know, he can throw the ball. He got guys around him. He got weapons. He got a dynamic run game. They got like one of the most creative run game in the in the NFL. So you got to be able to defend two plays at one time. You got to run it back and run the ball, and he can run the ball. And now he can throw it to anybody down the field. He's sitting in the pocket. He's reading his keys. He's um he um he basically taking full control of this offense. The new the, the off season, the new off is giving him. On a short week like this, I, I know Tuesday becomes more like a Thursday or Friday. Does today feel more like a Tuesday or more like a Thursday or Friday to you? I mean, I I say this is the second time playing them, so you know somewhat what they running. So it ain't really like it's just refreshing your mind. Like you go back in the chapter of the book, you look at what what they did against us, how they attacked us. You look at that stuff, but they always go back to their true roots of what they do with um, down the stretch. Down of the key moments of the game. At some point, has Keaton Mitchell has given them a little explosiveness over the past couple of weeks? Yes. Have you have you noticed him on film, and what stands out? Yeah, you you'll notice a guy that's explosive as he as he is. You know, this guy can just take a draw, um, like 40 or 50 yards to touchdown. That he circled the whole defense, and then you see him getting the screen pass, and being explosive, like 30 yards a pop. So every time he touches the ball, he's dynamic, and go the distance. At some point during a short week, does it finally start to feel normal instead of being? crunched and condensed like the night before the game or the day of the game does it finally start to feel normal at some point I mean you, you got to make it feel normal you got to figure out ways to um, get advantage you know you got to study your, um, the game plan even more you got to watch film more you got to pay more um, attention to details and understanding the game do you start watching film quicker after a Sunday game than you would normally when you're heading into a Thursday game? Um, yeah, I'd say after the Sunday game, I watched a little bit after, you know, to see what they're doing, how things different they're doing. They're doing a little bit of stuff different and stuff like that, trying to change up the way defense looking and stuff like that, trying to change the pitches. But they still go run the same plays, just different formations, different ways to get getting the guys the ball. You know, he got his guys he want to get the ball to, and then Odell is more getting the ball more now. So. We'll, we'll, we'll be right. You mentioned that it starts with the defensive line and obviously the importance of that. What have you seen from the young guys, Joseph Osai, Miles Murphy, uh, over the past couple of weeks? You know, guys is just learning and getting their feet, feet on it. They're getting more reps because now Sam is down. So, you know, you just keep on trying to get better. I know they're trying to keep on better, understanding the defense, understanding how they're attacking us and stuff like that, understanding where they where they fit and need to be at, where their eyes and hands need to be at, and understand how people are blocking them. So they just got to keep on coming along. Appreciate you, man. No problem.